You know what time it is. Boom shakalaka. All right, welcome everybody. Come on everybody, let's get happy. <laughs> we are here just like we said we'd be on Miss Rocky and Shaviva Live, Shaviva. Rocky is always something going on on the North End Yes, it is. And you know where we are right now and today is at the Waterloo Center for the Arts with Mr. Ken Shankle, the very fine director. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yes, thank you so much. And we have our guest co-host, Mayor Quinn Hart. Of course. It's the third Friday. Glad to be back. I don't know if people knew I was suspended. Oh. <laughs> That's right, and we're real excited about that. And guess what's happening else? We got Mr. Todd Green here, and you're gonna see him in just a moment because we're gonna be talking about some great things, his wonderful experiences, and all of that, but um, we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, what else we got, Shaviva? Love House, Love, love Letters, to, is that tonight? Um, I don't know if it's tonight. I think it's this weekend, maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, it's at the Waterloo Community Playhouse, and our own India and Corey Johnson are performing. So that's going to be great. It will be great. Mayor, have you heard about that? Uh, I did not. Kent, what about you? This is right in your neighborhood. I know Kent knows about it. I know it's happening this weekend. Okay. Always, always great productions coming out of the, the Waterloo Community Playhouse. They've been offline for a while due to COVID, and uh, this is their first production since uh, closing down in August. So it's exciting to be able to kind of uh, start to open slowly. Uh, they are presenting it um, in a social distance fashion. So uh, just just as we are right now, for those folks that are that are tuned in, um, it's just great to be back live um, and not on Zoom. Nothing wrong with Zoom, I love Zoom. Responsibly live. There you yes, go. Yes, and let's put up again socially distanced so another uh, fake picture will come up. Oh, okay, there you go. Right, socially distanced here at the Waterloo. The uh, Center for the Arts. And yeah, for those of you watching our North End Update page, please know that our Rocky and Shaviva page is not cooperating. So hopefully you can hear us. Uh, we're do using the tablet today. So yeah, we want to keep going and talk about um, condolences, Shaviva. We always talk about the good things going on, but we've had a tremendous loss in our community. Can we talk to that? Yes, absolutely. Um, we lost a right now in our community very recently. Um, Taja Toro Wright, she was part of the um, Waterloo Human Rights Commission and uh, she just really did a lot of, of great things in the community, helping people with uh, securing housing, just so many, so many different things. And it was, uh, it's a loss that was felt 
throughout the community and we just want to send out condolences to her family, the Wrights, the Tiros, and everyone who, who knew and loved her. And, and you know, the interesting part about her is to, to know her uh, was to love her smile, to love her as a person. So uh, there's so many people that have been impacted by coming in contact uh, with Taja as well. So I know my sons, we, they've been together since kindergarten. So we did the traveling, basketball, football, everything. Right. Before uh, Atlanta Housewives, before all of that stuff, it was the traveling parents. Okay. And she was a part of so we just uh, so honored. She worked at our uh, Waterloo Housing Group for many years uh, as well. We did a tremendous job of helping people secure housing. So uh, incredible talent and prayers to, to the man. Exactly. Yeah, she taught uh, home buyers classes here at the Center for the Arts. And I, many people afterwards would come up and say, you know, how much she helped them and made it possible for them to become home owners. And so she was really uh, changing people's lives. And, Yes, indeed. All right. And we um, definitely um, want to switch gears here and talk about another thing that we like to do, and that's Margot's Waterloo Proud History Moment. Shaviva, we had a great time at the, water, at the Gallagher Blue Dorn last week. Right. And um, the area of getting that note out was for a, um, a very talented musician. And we're going to throw out this question for a Marvel's World of Crowd History moment to see if you know who it is. It should be shooting fish in a barrel, right? Uh, what multi talented Iowa blues musician performed in Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian Institute's Folklife Festival in 1996? Who do you think it could be? And just in case, I'm going to get a little closer to our people here because I'm afraid that the, the uh, audio may, may not be good. But yeah, who is that? Who could it be, Shaviva? <laughs> well, whoever answers on our show gets a copy of Ropes in the Kitchen to keep going. Uh, and uh, we want to make sure that you get that answer right. What do you got going on there next, Shaviva? Okay, what's next? is um oh the <laughs> right the soul town exactly and uh if you have not received your subscription or if you need one uh don't forget that uh soul town isn't just community wide it's not just nationwide it's worldwide worldwide so get your copy uh, you can go to earth's beauty supply 704 franklin or you can go to the soultownmagazine.com or you can contact you directly through 1-9-5-0-5-4-0-2-0. All right. Okay, everybody. Thank you for doing that. And the Soul Town, we always try to get our give it air from that, Shaviva. And this month, this week with the mayor, we're talking about mental health. And with you, Kent, because, you know, I was talking to our friend Lori Dale, and, you know, you guys are working on some great projects through the city, but some of those things, talk, we talk about the project that you're working on while I readjust the camera again. <laughs> yeah, working on a lot of things, um, a, a lot of public art projects, and public art is a great way to uh, uh, kind of promote dialogue and, and work through things, and um, as, as we know, our country particularly in our country right now, we're working through some really difficult things. And uh, so trying to use uh, art to move things forward and, and help people through it. And uh, you know, the last, the news in the last few days and weeks has been pretty, pretty rough. Um, so we're trying to channel that energy. Um, and uh, Lori and a number of other community artists are, are banding together to try to start to make change with a project called Still Morning. Yes. We've talked about that a little bit on, on this, this program. And um, so that, that's moving forward. And uh, we'd like to say, hopefully, um, that can be a, a, a vehicle to bring people together and, and, and to really uh, question and, and then look at how we need to treat each other and what we need to do to uh, really get to a place of social justice and equality. Right. Well, you know what about that? 
Lori and, and whoever is dealing with that is gonna have, it's a hard thing. You know, just in passing, you think, okay, I'm gonna go help out with this art project. Lori was expressing to me that it's, it's gut-wrenching. You know, you have to read, you, you're putting these people's uh, lives and their names on the boards and it's really heart-wrenching. Yeah. So um, we just want to express to people that, you know, I, and I was telling her, I think all the therapists are booked up because everybody's hurting, you know, mm -hmm. right now. So what do you do to vent or, you know, be, Mayor, do you want to share how people can um, express their, you know, we, we want to let everybody know that we care, but then again, it can be overwhelming. Um, do you have any advice for well, you know, you just think about it as uh, Kim mentioned, it's been an overwhelming year things are changing and as we move through this COVID, um, life won't be the same for a lot of us just because of uh, the loss So, you know, from prayer to counseling to finding different ways to express yourself in positive uh, activities um, can help ease a little bit. But I think that the, the biggest thing out of all of this is do not be afraid to try to get some help. All right. The time we carry these burdens ourselves by ourselves and we don't want to look vulnerable in front of other people yeah. because we're supposed to be tough. Uh, in actuality, those that uh, are the toughest realize that they're not in this by themselves and right. they're support. So find you a good support network uh, and get help if you need it. That's right. So that's our give it air today, Shaviva. Because Absolutely. And just uh, a reminder, a reminder to all of us to be mindful to, to safeguard your mental health because 2020 and 20, 2020 was rough. 2021 is kind of coming in hot too. So yes, and right. And know that people care. I mean, I had I said early this week. It was a little bit of a tough time. We had um, some vandalism to this incredible mural. Right. That oh, mural. that's hard. That um, you know, but kids, wonderful, talented kids in our community did um, to uh, recognize and share the story of the civil rights struggle here in our community. It's this great uh, a community treasure that was vandalized, and I was feeling bad about that, but this week, um, people in the community stepped yeah. forward, uh, not, without even being asked, and said, we love this. We, That's right. We value this. This is, the, I mean, this is our community, this is us, and we want to fix it. So yes. today they all came out, and they repainted it, and I mean, it turned into a really beautiful thing. So Good. There are people that are in our corner, that are out there, and that, that are with us. And right. That. Like Mr. Rogers said, look for the helpers. Always look for the helpers, because they're around, right? Okay, some of our viewers are watching. Um, we uh, And uh, Amy says it's hard to hear, so everybody speak up. But we're going to introduce our wonderful guest here right now, I believe. Because I don't think you'll have any trouble hearing after we introduce him. He's got some lively things to uh, share with us. So, Shaviva, without further ado. Yeah, we want to introduce uh, Mr. Todd Green, who is a... Uh, an artist in residence here at the Waterloo Center for the Arts. He uh, did a performance last night uh, with a number of just a number of different instruments. And just coming in today and meeting him and seeing the collection that he's got to share with us right now, uh, I think we're in for a great time. So thank you, thank you, Todd, for for being our guest today. Yes, welcome, Todd. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Thank you, and yes, go ahead. We, we want to know what you're doing here and what brings you to Waterloo. Well, I'm uh, on a tour now, uh, and um, basically doing the upper north, uh, upper Midwest, uh, and uh, so it's been Kansas, Iowa, uh, and Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And uh, as you mentioned, I did a concert last night, which was had a lot of uh, uh, different instruments. I just wrote a little sampling today so I could kind of show and uh, show you some of them. And uh, you want me just to get right into it or do you want to? 
to do. Yeah, um, yeah, just so people know, uh, this week has been busy. He's done uh, concerts for all different ages of student groups and uh, with educational concerts that were recorded and will be played in the classrooms. And then last night's performance was uh, recorded and it will be played um, in the weeks, days and weeks to come on uh, the MediaCom's uh, City of Waterloo cable channel. And uh, some of the great, he's going to give us a sample of some of the great things that he shared with our community this week and that you can check out coming up. All right. Yeah. And so essentially what I do is play uh, instruments uh, from all over the world. I started on guitar. I grew up back east and started on guitar. <laughs> and essentially uh, spread out from guitar into other strings and into uh, flutes and percussion. And essentially what I'm playing, uh, and, and then as, from there it's gone from strings that are plucked to strings that are bowed. Uh, I've added those in, and then from flutes to uh, brass. So I've added those in also. But what I brought here was just some sampling of a few of these instruments. These are all from different parts of the world. This is called a charango. It's from South America, mainly the Indian region. And uh, it's a little tiny instrument that, that it was influenced by the Spanish bringing the Spanish guitar to South America many hundreds of years ago. But this is played very high up. It's got double core strings.
don't want to hear more than that. So what I do then is you add, the, that's the drum, and then you add the uh, melody on the other side. <clears throat> These are called Alagosa, they're from Pakistan and Western India. It doesn't sound together. and someone suggested that Shaviva should be dancing. She was an African That's dancer. Right was so thinking, Shaviva... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, wait, what's me? <laughs> you want to bust a few moves for us, Shaviva. Do those drum beats. Oh, no, thank you. Please do. <laughs> Please do, he says. 
Okay, okay, look. It's a dance show. It will be a birthday singing show in just a minute. Go ahead, you have more, I think. A little bit more, yeah. Uh, but I start, as I started to say, the, the, the flat drum, uh, the frame drum, is very popular. It's, it's been used uh, for the longest time as far as the shape of the drum, and every culture around the world has it. Um, and they're very simple. I have a whole set of three of them here. Um, they're, they're essentially... Instruments uh, total, 
and I have a lot of YouTube videos. There's links that you can go directly to YouTube, or you can just do the link on my website. And in fact, a lot of them I, I've shot it right in my studio, so you can see uh, all the instruments in the studio that I'm playing. Wow. Did you talk about what got you interested uh, in all of these interests? instruments and I mean how much really, did you start? Yeah, briefly, I mean I started, uh, you know, uh, like a lot of people my age when I saw the Beatles. Okay. <laughs> you know, and I wanted to play drums, but oh. I, uh, my mother didn't want an eight-year-old walking on a snare drum, so she said no drums. So I said, okay, I'll play guitar. Anything they were playing, I said, oh, that's good enough. You know, and so, and I had come back to percussion, hand percussion, not, not uh, drum. But for people here that want to see this concert, um, watch our the one of the Arts Facebook page and our website, um, and we'll tell you where to tune in. And also watch your City of Water the cable television channel um, because they will be uh, putting that into rotation in the coming days and weeks. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I think it's uh, just about that time for us to wish some folks happy birthday, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, every week we have the best, best people. And we want to wish them the best, best happy birthday. Whether you just passed or if it's coming up, we love you. Okay. Happy birthday to Goody Goodson. Uh, Knowledge Calhoun, that is my grandson. Happy birthday. Love you. Uh, Joseph Shepherd, Albert Arnez Meeks, Mary Donahue, Carolyn Stevenson. Happy birthday. Right, and also Billy, da Billy David, uh, Twinette Kane Scott, Patricia, Patricia Gary, Denia Berry, Gabrielle, and that and Michelle Nelson's from my pronunciation. <laughs> uh, Shirley and Pina Agusi. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And we have some special accompaniment. So Sponsor Shaviva, you know, we got some great people backing us. Yes, yes, we absolutely do. Um, Sharina Salas at CUNA Mutual. Yes. Uh, Matt Gilbert, Mr. Greatness Iowa Corps. I've never called him uh, Mr. Greatness, but Mr. Greatness Iowa Corps. That's right. And of course, the Ferguson team. Absolutely. The Ferguson real estate team. And, you know, we just formed a board. We got one more good news thing to tell everybody. We just formed our board, Shaviva. Yes, yes, we did. We have been at this for four years. Ups, downs, highs, lows, flawless shows, and shows where the bottom drops out. Which <laughs> one of us just the same, right? I know, everybody's still there for us. Yes. And we just applied for our 501c3 and we formed a board, so we're looking for a big celebration soon and a lot more from us. We ain't going nowhere. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. And I'm one of those people that says, hey, but until next time, keep doing more of what makes you awesome, like Todd Green. That's right. Because it makes us all look good. And our names. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.